to and welcome back to our maths lessons. Now, you know, this week we are doing 2D shape. We have identified shapes and recognized shapes. We have counted the sides and vertices on shapes. And today we are going to be sorting shapes and we are going to be drawing shapes too. Now, don't worry if you're thinking you haven't got thing, shapes to sort and you haven't got equipment to be able to draw 2D shapes. Don't worry, I will explain it all to you later on in the video. But first, I would like to share some fantastic work that some of you have been doing. Here we go. Olivia in TCH went for a shape hunt around her house and she found lots of different items. My favourite is the front cover of The Cat and the King because it's a book we really enjoyed reading together as a class. Well done, Olivia. A dojo point for you. Here's William in TCH searching for those 2D shapes. I made shape because I found this pizza slice which is a triangle and, and I found a cookie which is a circle and I found this plastic folder with all my work in and it's a Rectangle. And here's Roscoe's fantastic photo montage of all the 2D shapes he found around his house and garden. Well done to all the children in the video and I will be awarding you some dojo points now. Let's warm our brain up by identifying some shapes. Let's see if we can count the sides and vertices on some of these 2D shapes. Now remember, sides are the straight or curved lines that make the shape up and vertices is the mathematical word we are using for corners. Pause the video now, have a look at the shape on the screen and see if you can count the number of sides and the number of vertices. Do you know the name of this shape? Come back in a moment for a check. Okay, welcome back. Let's have a look. Let's count those sides. One, two, three, four, five, six sides. And one, two, three, four, five, six vertices. Do you know the name of this shape? It's a hexagon. Well done. Let's do one more. Pause the video and count the number of sides and vertices on this 2D shape. Do you know the name of this shape? Come back in a moment for a check. Welcome back. Shall we see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides and one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight vertices. Eight sides, eight vertices. This is an octagon. Well done. Okay, our learning objective today is to sort and draw 2D shapes. Now, actually, there are two learning objectives there. To sort 2D shapes and to draw 2D shapes. And I've put them together for a reason. If we were at school, we would have lots of equipment to be able to do this learning objective. We would have lots of colourful 2D shapes to be able to have on our tables and pick up and sort. And we would have special equipment that would help us draw or create drawings of 2D shapes. Now, I understand that some of you at home might not have the same equipment we have at school. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to direct you to some websites where you can have a go at sorting some shapes and you can also have a go at drawing some shapes. So we're going to look at sorting shapes first and I'm going to show you what the activity on the website will be like and then I'm going to direct you to the website. Okay, one of our learning objectives today is to be able to sort 2D shapes and we're going to be using that knowledge uh, from earlier on in the week, identifying those shapes and counting the number of sides and vertices to help us. You can see I've got a little table here and the table has two headings, 
triangles and not triangles. So I'm going to look at my shapes and if it's a triangle, I'm going to put it in the box that says triangles. And if it's not a triangle, I'm going to put it in the box that's not a triangle. So let's look at this shape first. I'm going to count the sides. It has one, two, three, four sides. And I know that if a shape has four sides, it is a quadrilateral. That's what we call all four sided shapes. I can see that all the shape sides are the same length. So it must be a square. So it is not a triangle. So I'm going to pop it in that box. Let's look at the green shape. I can see that we've got one, two, three sides. And I know that if a shape has three sides, it is a triangle. So we can pop it in the box that says triangles. Now let's look at our pink shape. Mm, this looks a little bit more unusual. I'm going to count the sides. One, two, three sides. And one, two, three vertices. It must be a triangle. So I can pop it in the triangle box. Let's look at our blue shape, move it into the center here. Let's count those sides. One, two, three, four, five sides. And one, two, three, four, five vertices. Five sides, five vertices. We know it's not a triangle, it's a pentagon. And let's look at our final shape here. It only has one side and no vertices. It can't be a triangle because it hasn't got three sides. So we put it in not triangles. And there we have sorted our shapes into those that are triangles and those that are not triangles. Okay, I've got another table here. I still have at the top triangles and not triangles. But you'll notice down the side, I now have not pink and pink. So we're going to sort these shapes using two different criteria. We're going to have to think whether they are triangles or not triangles and whether they're pink or not pink. So let's look at our first shape. I'm going to put it right in the middle there. Now, first things first, is it pink or not pink? It's not pink, is it? It's green. So we know it's going to be in one of these bottom two boxes. So let's look at the top now. Is this a triangle or is it not a triangle? We can see that it has one curved shape, one curved side. This means it's not a triangle because triangles have three sides. So we can put it here. It's not pink and it's not a triangle. Let's look at our next shape. Pop it in the middle. Let's look at colour first. Is it pink or not pink? We can see that it's not pink. It's red. Is it a triangle or not a triangle? We can see that it has one, two, three sides and three vertices. That matches a triangle, so it is a triangle. It's not pink, but it is a triangle. Let's look at our next shape. Let's look at colour. Is it pink or not pink? We can see it is pink which means it's going to be in one of the top boxes. Is it a triangle or is it not a triangle? We can see it has four sides and four vertices, so it can't be a triangle. Let's look at our next shape. We have a square. I know it's a square. It's got four sides that are the equal, that are equal lengths. So it's not a triangle, 
But is it pink or not pink? We can see it's not pink, so it's going to go down here. Let's look at this shape. Is it pink or not pink? It's pink. So it's going to be a triangle or not a triangle up here. Is it a triangle? It's got three sides and three vertices. Yes, it is a triangle. Last shape. Okay, I can see that it has more than three sides, so it's not a triangle. Is it pink or not pink? We can see it's not pink, so it goes down here. We've sorted shapes using two different criteria. And that's what I want you to do now. Because I know that it's really, really difficult to be able to short, sort shapes at home, especially 2D shapes because they're flat and you might not have some of the shape equipment we have in school. So I'm going to tell you now about a website that you can go to and you can have a go at sorting some 2D shapes just like we've done here. Okay, I would like you to search for the website topmarks.co.uk and you can see it here. Now when you're in the website, search for 2D shape and search and then you'll get a list of lots of different games. The one we want to use is 2D shapes sorting using Carol diagrams. Select play game and you'll see this screen. Now I want you to have a go at level one and level two. So let's just have a quick look at level one. You can see we've got a table that's very, very similar to the one we've just looked at in the video. We've got two criteria, triangles, not triangles, yellow, not yellow. At the side here, you will have a shape that you will need to sort. So let's look, is it yellow or not yellow? We can see it's red, so it's not yellow. Is it a triangle or not a triangle? It has one curved side. It's a circle, so we can put it in not triangles. After a number of shapes, the game will stop and you will be told which ones you've got correct. You can have a go as many times as you like. Have fun. Pause the video now and pop over to topmarks.co.uk and have a go at that sorting 2D shapes game. When you're ready, come back and we'll look at the second part of our learning objective. Off you go. Welcome back. Did you have fun? Brilliant. Okay, we're going to look at the second part of our learning objective now. And once again, we'll be using a website. Okay, the second part of our learning objective is to draw 2D shapes. And once again, I understand that that's really, really difficult to do at home because you might not have the equipment. We'd need rulers, we'd need maybe squared paper, and might, we might need some shapes to draw around. So once again, this is something we're going to do on a website. So I'd like you to go back to topmarks.co.uk and again, search for 2D shape. Scroll down until you come to GeoBoard. So we're going to click on GeoBoard. You can see here that you've got a black square with lots of pins on. And at the bottom, lots of colourful elastic bands. And these are going to help you make some new shapes. At the very bottom, you can see there are lots of tools. Lots for you to play around with. Highlighted in green right at the bottom is the square that we've got on screen. I'm going to go for the rectangle because it's a bigger shape and lots more space for me to make shapes. So we're going to use the elastic bands. I'm choosing yellow because it's my favourite colour. I'm holding down on yellow so that I can drag a, an elastic band around and I'm going to hook it onto my first pin. You can stretch it down a little bit. Then I'm going to get my next one, hook it on and pull it round and hook. And my final one, whoops, drag that one across there and I have made a square. 
Now, if I click somewhere else on the board, I can choose a different coloured elastic band. I'm going to hook, I'm going to stretch that diagonally over here. And stretch it diagonally over here. And my third one might give you a clue to the shape I'm making. There we go. It is a triangle. Now, this is a fun website to have a play around with. You could even choose the circle board to make some very interesting shapes. As always, I absolutely love seeing your work, so please make sure you send me some screenshots or photographs of anything you're doing. If you want to have a go and draw your own shapes and you've got some squared paper at home, that would be fantastic too. Have a go and show me what you can do. Bye, year two.